nearly a week. Vion has been reporting the story from the very beginning. Initial reports showed journalists were the target, and now we know that the victims include activists, lawyers, even politicians, more than 100 people in, in India. The scam is getting bigger by the day. But who's responsible? We do not know. There are three parties who can answer this question. First is the government of India. It says it neither bought nor planned to buy Pegasus. That's the software created by Israel's NSO group. The second party is WhatsApp, which has conveniently blamed the NSO group and its clients, meaning governments, for this mess. Classic passing the buck. The third party here is the NSO group itself. It seems to have disappeared. How convenient. We are none the wiser then. The question is, who snooped on Indian targets with Israeli spyware? Who broke into their devices? First things first, WhatsApp cannot pass the blame on this Israeli firm and sit tight. Ensuring the privacy of users is the responsibility of WhatsApp. Neither can it blame the customers of NSO. Compromising user privacy is a fault that lies at the doorsteps of the messaging device, the messaging service, in fact, filing a mere lawsuit against NSO Group will not do. This is the same company that invokes privacy and gives sermons on encryption to the Indian government at the Supreme Court. When the credibility questions arise, WhatsApp cannot just take its hands off the issue and plead not guilty. What about the government then? India's IT ministry says that the initial communication received from WhatsApp is inadequate. The government has promised stringent action. But action against whom? The fundamental question is this, at whose behest was the Pegasus spyware used in India? Unless the government and the platform can come with a clear answer, this issue will not die down. And that brings us to NSO and spyware hacking. Under the IT Act, there is no provision for the government to install snooping devices or hacking smartphones. Yes, the government has a well-established protocol for interception of data, but installing spyware is plain illegal. The government needs to send a message to platforms that, that do not take privacy of users seriously. And I'm not being alarmist here. I'm afraid. This entire episode reminds me of the famous lines of George Orwell's novel 1984. The big brother is watching you. This is a democracy. It's not a surveillance state. This cannot be happening. How do you secure critical information in such a scenario? Today, information is the biggest commodity and information breach is a national security issue. Any delay in addressing this hurts the credibility of all the stakeholders.